Avoid this mistake when you speak in Japanese. Konnichiwa, oru no nakama tachi. After growing up in Japan and teaching Japanese online, I see people making mistakes in Japanese that I think you should avoid. But don't give up, akiramiru na baka. So today I want to share one of the most important mistakes you should avoid when speaking in Japanese. Avoid not pronouncing this hiragana correctly. So you should already know that this hiragana on its own should be pronounced as ha. Ha o ma yanno ga boge. So it's ha like haiku, ohayo, hara ga hetta. But when you use as a particle or konnichi wa, it's gonna turn into wa. And you might be like, nande ya ne, Matsu? O mai chou shiratte no ka? Hiragana wa ga an no ni nande ha ga wa ni nan nage dame ya ne, korosu zo. So please don't korosuzo me, but apparently there's a long history behind the Japanese language of reasons why, but mainly, except for the notable exceptions, konnichi wa or konban wa, ha is gonna be pronounced as wa only in particles. So don't go reading konnichi wa saying konnichi ha, konban ha, they'll be like, what are you talking about? Obviously, regarding to particles, statements like, ore no namae wa matsu desu. My name is Matsu. You're gonna use Ha while pronouncing it as wa because it's used as a particle, a statement particle. One tricky sentence I just came up is Konbanwa Ashita wa hare na no de boku wa haichu o tabenagara haikyu o mimas. So try to write that sentence down literally with your pencil or pen and try to read it over and over again because you want that flick to understand when the wa is gonna be pronounced as ha or wa. So one more time, konbanwa, konnichiwa, it's actually gonna be ha pronounced as wa, but mainly you should focus on particles being pronounced as wa. But when a normal like haiku, haichu, it's gonna be ha, obviously. I see people struggling with it while they're reading Japanese, so definitely practice it. I'm gonna I'm gonna hit you with a couple one of one of one of them along the no more videos, so be 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 on the lookout. Number two, along with these particles. You have to understand the difference between the particles wa and ga. Wa to ga no tsukai kata no chigai wa tashikani arimasu. Nihon jin de mo bunpo teki ni machigatte tsukau hito wa taksan iru kedo, kaiwa teki ni machigatte tsukau hito wa anmari nai no de, dou yatte nihon jin to kaiwa suri toki wa to ga o tsukau no ka o ima oshietai to omoimasu. So here is the actual grammatical bunpo difference between wa and ga, like dictionary style. So ga tells us the subject of the verb. What is subject? I asked the same question when I moved to America in Chuga. Subject is basically who or what performs the action. So then what is wa? Wa wa nai yane? Oshiete o. Wa marks the topic of the sentence. It's what the sentence is talking about. So you might be like, now, okay. まあまあ分かった感じがする。うん、I get the difference. But here is where it gets a little, little bit more trickier. The reason wa and ga can be pretty confusing is because the subject of the sentence or who or what performs the action can be the same as the topic of the sentence. So basically, the topic and the person, animal, or thing that's doing the thing can be the same in the same sentence. What the nani? Sumi masen. 確かにこれはちょっと難しい。ごめんな。Sorry. For example, the sentence Matsama wa ramen wo tabemashita. That means I, Matsama, wa the statement ramen wo ramen wo tabemashita. Eight. What is the particle between the thing and what you did with it? Grammatically, because the topic and who performs the action is the same, you could just say Matsama ga ramen wo tabemashita. And there's no grammatical difference, technically speaking. However, you should know by now that if you watch Japanese culture, anime, conversation, podcasts, that they do have a slight difference between wa and ga, even in a sentence as matsama wa or matsama ga, ramen wo tabemashita. And here is where I want to emphasize the emphasis portion of why ga has more emphasis. But if you haven't learned hiragana yet, I have a skill share on learning hiragana from scratch. So check it out if you're curious down in the description below. And when you hear emphasis, I want you to think more as a distinction. You use ga even when it's grammatically the same when you want to make a distinction that this person did this. Here are some major examples. Like from the one before, Matsama wa ramen wo tabemasu. We just mean that Matsu ate ramen, just a pure line of statement. This is what Matsu did. Nothing more, nothing less. More like a third person anonymous feeling, like a statement is. This is what Matsu did yesterday or whatever. 
But if you say Matsusama ga ramen wo tabemashita, it has a more strong sense that who ate the ramen? Matsu ate the ramen. You're trying to let someone know that Matsu is the one who ate the ramen. It's not just a statement, he ate it. For example, let's imagine that you just got yourself a nice little takeout ramen, you brought it home. Uh, I'm there, you see Matsusama, I'm there, and you see your friend, and you, you, go, you go wash your hands in the bathroom, because, you know, you, 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 you're a clean person, you don't want to eat with dirty hands. But when you come back, the ramen is gone. You're like, what the nani? Dare, dare ga? Dare ga no ramen tabeta. And then your friend, your loyal friend will go, Mats, Matsu ga, Matsu ga ramen wo tabeta. And this is important because in English, he would just say, Matsu ate the ramen. You know, there's no difference between Matsu ate the ramen and Matsu ate the ramen. You can't really add, add a particle in that sentence in English. However, because your friend said, Matsu-sama ga ramen wo tabemashita. Now we know who ate the ramen because now he's trying to show more of a distinction that Matsu ate the ramen. Wa would just mean a statement and here it wouldn't really make any sense because he's saying in a more third person like, Matsu ate the ramen. No, he wants to say Matsu ate the ramen. And when you want to do that pointing kind of emphasis, you will use ga. Even in introduction. So most of the time, if you go to Japan, you should just say wa with uh, boku wa. I am boku wa matsu desu. I am matsu. And you will use wa because it's just a plain statement. Uh, you're not trying to emphasize anything. You're not trying to sound kind of cocky in a way. The only time you want to say ga during self-introduction or when you're trying to emphasize who you are is if someone's like, Dare ga matsu? Who is matsu? And you, you, you would say, Boku ga matsu. Boku ga matsu desu. Or if someone asked me, Dare ga ramen wo tabeta? Who ate the ramen? I'll say, Boku ga. Matsu-sama ga ramen wo tabemashita. I love ramen. I'm sorry. I don't know what to, I don't know what you want me to do. And the last example is what you might actually witness if you listen to it into a Japanese conversation. This is a literal the same conversation I've had before. Let's say I think a cup is cute and nice. I would say kono koppu wa kawaii ne. But my friend, my tomodachi is not paying attention. She's like, "Ah, so 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 kawaii ne, kawaii ne." But then a few seconds later, he turns around and says, "Ah, sono koppu kawaii ne." But it's a different cup. I wasn't talking about cup. I would say chigao. Kono koppu ga kawaii no. It's this one that's cute. So something of those distinction, when you're trying to emphasize those distinction, is when it might come up during a conversation. And it's pretty important. And I know learning Japanese is not easy. Um, I've seen many students struggle. There's a lot of three writing systems, hiragana, kanji, uh, katakana, and all these particles that you have to deal with. But wa and ga is definitely the more trickier ones. And like I said, Japanese people do mix it up all the time. They do mess it up themselves all the time. So don't be discouraged if it's hard to get in the beginning. But those distinction is when it's pretty important to know why they use them. Keep up the tatakai mindset. Don't stop that training arc to the master the Japanese, the fluency. Don't get distracted from your phone. Turn that social media off. Netflix, get out of here. Crunchyroll anime, that could stay. But subs, no dubs. And make Japanese learning a habit and you'll be really glad you did. So hopefully you understand the difference between wa and ga, or at least it's a little bit more clear. Subscribe to join the Nakama. Leave a like, it really helps out the channel. And peace.